In this video, we're going to look at scientific notation. I am fairly confident that you have seen scientific notation previously, but I want to just look at a couple of examples that they give us. The first one is 345,000. Now, what I want to point out to you is the 3 is a significant digit, the 4 and the 5. But all of these zeros are not significant because they are not, they're trailing zeros, but they're not to the right of a decimal. So they're not significant. So when I'm taking 345,000 and I'm turning it into scientific notation, I take where the decimal would be and I begin to move it. I move it 1, 2, 3, 4, five places over. But when I write my final answer, I'm going to write as 3.45. I'm not going to include the zeros here because the zeros are not significant. If they were significant, I would have had to put 3.45000. Then it's times 10 to the 1 two, three, four, five. I just count how many places I moved it over. Another way that I prefer to write this is 3.45, sorry for that issue, 3.45 capital E to the fifth. And it means exactly the same thing, times 10 to the fifth or capital E to the fifth. They mean the same thing. In the second example, when we look at this number here, and I'm going to write it down here so we can see it a little bit clearer. When we look at this second example, it's very important to note that all of these zeros are leading zeros. They are placeholders. Leading zeros are never significant, so it's only these digits here that are significant. So when I'm taking my decimal and I'm moving it over, I'm moving it one, two, three, four places. When we put numbers into scientific notation, we always end up with one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal. So I move the decimal so that we end up with one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal. So this becomes 1.5. Five, six, four, and I moved it one, two, three, four places times 10 to the negative fourth. When I'm moving the decimal to the right, it becomes negative. In my first example, I was moving it to the left and it's positive. The way I remember that is if I've got a number greater than one, I'm going to have a positive exponent. If I have a number less than one, I'm going to have a negative exponent. Once again, we can write this as 1.564 e to the negative fourth, either one. So, in dealing with scientific notation, there are times where you're putting it into scientific notation. There's also times where you're taking it out of scientific notation. Let's say that we have this example, 3.26 e to the fourth. Well, how would we do that? That means we need to move the decimal place four places. One, two, three, four. That means I'm going to need to add two zeros to the end. And so 3.26e to the fourth is the same thing as 32,600. Or if we have 4.29e to the negative two, that means that the e to the negative means this is going to get less than 1, and I'm going to move it 1, 2 places, so we end up with 4, 2, 9. I hope this helps in understanding scientific notation.